when you're in Moi, if you want to really taste an old school, you got to come to the shop. And I don't even know how many of these still exist in Malaysia at all, let alone in Moi. In 2017, this charming town was awarded as one of the cleanest cities in Southeast Asia by a CN Clean Cursed City Standard Award. Moa is a state of Johor's royal town. This riverfront town is full of colorful buildings and delicious food. It smells so rich. I can already smell the cumin, all these little spices in here. I'm already really excited. We think it is one of the most underrated places in Malaysia. If you're a really big fan of bold, flavorful spices like this and thick broths, this is a soup for you. Good morning from Moir. So yesterday we took a bus trip from Johor Bahru and now we are at the town of Muar. Muar is a beautiful quaint little town actually. It's a city and just first impression we love it here. It's just a lot of old buildings and colonial stuff. The city is very clean also. We're having coffee from 434 Coffee. Thank you. This is an elephant bean coffee. They don't use the elephant. Okay, they don't use any elephant. Nothing is elephant in here. It's just a name. This place has been here since 1953. And unfortunately, due to the current situation of COVID-19, we are not allowed to drink it inside or have or enjoy our coffee inside, so we're outside. They've been doing takeaways for now, but when the situation is done, I'm pretty sure you can drink it inside. Let me chase my coffee. This one I got, the Elephant Bean 1960. Apparently, um, during the 1960s, they used to drink People used to drink this a lot, this type of coffee. It looks very, very dark, very dark. And I've got mine, Kopi O Kosong, black and nothing, just straight. Mm. Wow, mm. very floral. Spot 434 Kopi is like a must visit in Moi. Like we've heard from a lot of you to come visit it. We have researched it. This is the first one that comes up. So this is a locally, a local Moi coffee shop. Like very proud. It's like the pride of Moi, this coffee. I'm really excited because I got the one that's strictly elephant bean only. This one costs a little more. And I'm, I'm a coffee lover. So I'm really curious what's up with these elephant beans. Ooh, wow. This tastes like some coffee that I love. It's got that a kind of espresso taste. Mm. And I also ordered it kosong, so no sugar. I really wanted to taste the quality of this coffee, and man, it is high. Like, I taste that slight bit of bitterness, smoky. Mm. This is really some of the best coffee I've had in Malaysia. Like, straight up, I would, I would order this again and again. Like, if you love espresso, if you like kind of more of a bitter coffee, this is definitely for you. So I know I notice here in Malaysia more of the coffee you get in the Kopi Towns is more like mellow. I think because they roast it with the margarine. I don't think this is roasted with margarine. I think it's just pure coffee, and uh, there's no mixture. It's straight up coffee in here, and wow. Like I appreciate that style of coffee too uh, that we get in the Kopi Town here, but this, if I could drink this every day, I would. This is really what I'm used to drinking around the world in the U.S. It's delicious. For comparison's sakes, I'm gonna try Jumi's. It's the elephant bean, the 1960, kind of the old school kopi. When you look at it, it's really dark. Mine is more on the tan brown side, so I'm really curious to try this one too. Mmm. I, I see exactly what you say about the floral. It does taste 
this does taste more like um, coffee in the U.S. and around the world, too. It's got a little bit of that smoky bitterness, but not as strong as mine, but definitely more on the floral, fruitier side. I like this one, too. This is delicious, also. This is great coffee. I mean, this place is really famous for a reason, and you have to come here when you're in Moir. I think we're going to buy some of this kopi sachet to go as well. So I just tasted Greg's coffee and definitely Greg's coffee, the one that he got is definitely um, more on the bitterness coffee taste. I like my coffee floral and a little bitter, but not too much. And this is perfect for me. Well, that's perfect for Greg. And um, wow. cheers. Yep. Oh, this is good. Yeah, we'd love to come back here one day and I think they do where you could um, go to the factory and see them roast it because the factory is separate here. I'd love to see that one day. We'll come back to Moa yeah, for that. Maybe, but for now, yeah. due to some COVID-19 reasons and yeah. SOP, we can't go inside. We didn't notice until we got here, until we did some research and traveling around Johor, that Johor is a big coffee capital, it seems like. If you watch our Klong video, we're going to put a card up here, check that out. Klong is very famous for coffee as well. They have a coffee factory and there's another coffee shop that's very famous. So that's kind of, that's what it seems like here in Moa as well. So Johor is the coffee capital of Malaysia, it seems like. Let us know if there's anywhere else that competes, but <laughs> what we have so far, Johor is where it's at for coffee. Our second stop in our Moar food adventure. This this Otak Otak. This one is from Otak Otak Cheng Boy, and it's so fun to watch them grill it. This one is fish otak otak. Apparently, they also sell frozen otak otak. Um, it looks like a factory inside where I don't think you can eat in there, but you can take your otak otak to go. And otak otak is finger food, so you can just eat it on the go with you. And this one, it looks so fresh. It's very warm. I can't wait to have a bite of this. Mmm. It's just so chewy. And you can really taste every bite. There's meat in here. I can eat this every day. So good. One thing that Moa is very famous for, the 434 elephant bean coffee, and now we're something that Moa is very famous for, otak otak. Otak otak, we love it. We've had so many varieties here in Malaysia, all over the place. A lot of it in style. We've also had the Malay style in Kuantan. We'll put a card up here, check that out. You can see what that one looked like. But this one is the Moa style. Look at that. We'll open it up. So it's in these atak leaves. It's grilled fresh. And it's called otak otak. Otak means brains. and the inside does look kind of like a brain, so I can see where that comes from. This one's a nice parcel of fish. Look at that. It smells so good. It's got that orange color, interspersed with a little bit of white and red. Go ahead and take a bite. Mm. That was a great flavor. It's got a nice spice to it. Um, it doesn't have as much of a bouncy texture, I think, because they do use less starch. So that's more fish. This one, I believe, they use mackerel. Mm. So smooth. It's probably got this turmeric in here, plus some lemongrass, chili. Mm. Like Jimmy said, I can eat this all day long. And I would love to be able to get the frozen batch. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have a place to cook it. But they also have a squid one here that I've seen pictures of online. It looks amazing. It actually has like, a piece of squid embedded. Maybe one day. But this is the spot. This is the one when you research Otak Otak in Moa. This is the first one that comes up. Probably the most famous and very delicious. These are so good. This is probably the best 88 zero cents ringgit we've ever spent. Yeah. Buy 10 of these, eight ringgit. We're gonna buy, we bought 10, we're gonna buy another 10 right now. That's how good these are. It's so light, so fresh, it's healthy. You feel like it's, you feel like you're, you're just eating something good in your life. Yep, get that protein in, get that spice. It's grilled fresh, it's nice and hot. It's so good. Another thing 
that our research told us to not miss here in Moir is to try the famous Moir soup house. And these are the uh, soup kambing. It's this kambing mutton knees. And they always, always give us straw to sip everything in there. Oh, I see marrow here. Wasu House dates back to 1958. It actually takes up three shop houses. It's a big space. It's right underneath the uh, canopy here, like the colorful canopy. So this is a historic spot here in Moir. I'm really excited to try it. So I got the soup kambing. Jumi has it with the gearbox. I'm gonna try a little of her gearbox too. But I want to get it just with the kambing, with the mutton meat. And the first glance, the broth is really thick and it's got this brownish tan kind of color. It smells so rich. I can already smell the cumin, all these little spices in here. I'm already really excited. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a sip. Whoa. Very cumin-y, very rich, spicy. Wow, this is such a flavor-packed broth. I haven't even gotten to the meat yet. That's how good it is. There's also some cilantro here. There's some fried shallots. Man, I'm gonna try a piece of the kambing. Mmm. Coming is so tender, juicy. It pairs so perfect with that rich, flavorful broth. Man, I'm loving this broth. Mm. Wow. There's a little cardamom in there too, cinnamon. And the cumin is really the strongest spice in here. I'm loving this. Mm. If you're a really big fan of bold, flavorful spices like this and thick broths, this is a soup for you. Wow, one of the richest flavorful broths I've had here in Malaysia, any soup, amazing. So, Muar Soup House used to sell in a push cart since 1958. They used to sell, they used to sell their goods, their food, their soup in a push cart or on a push cart. Maybe like something like this, but now they just, they have not just two, but three storefronts or restaurants. One, number two, and that's number three. That's so cool. Good morning from War. This is our second day here and it looks like satay is breakfast dish here, which means it's savory breakfast. We're here at Haba for some satay for breakfast. Ooh, can't wait to have this. This is tagging. Wow, that is well marinated. So satay for breakfast is a thing here in Moi. I'm so excited for that because I love satay. I love barbecue meat. And this one is grilled with the charcoal in the front, which is very important. Did a lot of research here. There's a famous one next door called Satay Warisan. They're closed today on Tuesdays. But this one is kind of like uh, under the radar from researching like a local favorite and you can see they're grilling it right at the front right in that charcoal grill he's fanning the flames i say you know it's going to be good did a little research some places they're using gas and I don't know, we're all about that charcoal life so we got the champur so that's the mix we have the ayam the chicken the perot the beef stomach and the dogging the beef so i'm actually gonna this uh beef stomach is really calling my name it's very yellow looks like it's uh marinated turmeric it smells delicious. You can really smell the smoke from that charcoal. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. That charcoal smoky flavor really permeates this beef stomach. Wow. And it's really clean taste. It's got a slight sweetness to it, but really the dominant flavor is that smoke. Wow. I haven't even put the peanut sauce yet. I think I'm gonna eat this whole one just plain by itself. That's how good it is. Wow, that smoke. Oh, 
Oh, that smoke. It's got a pleasant chew to it. Let's try the chicken. Now, chicken has a really strong lemongrass and turmeric flavor. It's not as juicy as I would like it to be, though it does have a nice crisp on the outside. The lemongrass flavor is really nice in it. That beef also is really well marinated with that lemongrass. That smoky flavor is just dominating it. And Saiska has a little bit of chew to it as well. But I gotta say, I'm gonna come back to this try it every time. But now I'm gonna try it with the peanut sauce. It's a really nice peanutty peanut sauce. It's a little sweet, but it's a nice strong peanut flavor. And you can tell from looking at it, it's not really oily. Because you have the satay sauce that's really oily, this one's definitely more thick and peanutty. I really like this one. Lontong is a classic Johorian breakfast. We saw our local favorite food in Johor Bahru video. We're gonna put a card up here, you can check that out. We tried it for the first time there. But this one here, let's take a sip. Mm. That lontong gravy is so good with the coconut milk, turmeric. It's got the peanut in there, so it's crunchy. It's got a lot of lemongrass, and I love the vegetables, glass noodle, the compressed rice cubes, and you have egg. It's such a great, savory breakfast. You pair that with the satay, winning combination for sure. Kedai Kopi Si Hui. This place has been here almost 50 years. I'm not quite sure. Almost 50? 49. 1949? Okay, so this place has been here for a very, very long time. Um, I'm not quite sure if we understand each other. I don't know if it's been here since 1949 or it's been brewing since for 49 years, so I'm not quite sure. But wow, feels so homey that um, <laughs> everything here is being uh, brewed using wood fire. Classic breakfast here. I'm so excited because this place, I really felt like I stepped back in time when I walked into this Kopi Siam. So this place is just so, you can smell the aroma of the wood fire. Everything here is cooked using wood. So they, the coffee is boiled using wood. Toast, the toast here using wood fire. So you smell that aroma when you walk in, you really just feel, maybe a day like today, a rainy day, and you smell that smoky wood aroma, it just makes you feel at home and comfortable, like, oh. So this coffee is just very dark and rich. I got it the Kopioko Song, but I got it hot. So I like to have my morning coffee hot, and this one just looks so black and rich. Mm, smells strong. Take a sip. Ooh. Oh, it's very dark and rich. Strong, so I like it. Almost a slight fruitiness to it, too, but not like a sweet way. Really nice coffee. Very old school coffee is served in this like classic old school mug. But I'm really intrigued about this toast right here. That was cooked. The toast was cooked over the wood fire, so I'm really curious to try it. We got it with the kaya, the coconut pandan jam, and butter. He toasted it just perfectly. A slight smoky aroma from that wood. And it's a perfect balance of that sweet kaya and that creamy butter. What you have to do, you gotta dip it. 
in the coffee. I love that contrast of the sweet toast and you combine it with that nice, strong, dark, rich, bitter coffee, combine it together. Ooh. When you're in Moi, if you want to really taste an old school, you gotta come to the shop. And I don't even know how many of these still exist in Malaysia at all, let alone in Moi. <laughs> all right, so we just did a quick tour in here of how they make their coffee. So, Greg also just made his coffee. Kaya here is made housemade. They make it um, in the morning and they have this bucket right outside their, the cafe and then they put the bucket in another tub full of hot water and they just let it simmer in there six hours. Six hours. for six hours. There's a lot of egg, there's a lot of coconut milk, and there's a lot of pandan and brown sugar. You can really, really taste how delicious it is. We made new friends and they're gonna drive us. Bandung is a really special dish here in Johor and actually Moar, the town we're in now, Moar is really well known for the Mi Bandung so we've been waiting to come to Moar to try it and come here, this is the most famous one, it's been here, it's been going since 1930 so the interesting thing about this one is that it's actually a stall tucked into a kopitiam, so it's a Chinese kopitiam but you have the Mi Bandung stall, you also have a satay stall and this place is so famous, you see the pictures all over the walls, you have the Sultan, the Prime Minister, the president of Singapore, all these different people over the years on the wall. This place is well known. It smells incredible. The first thing I smelled when this came out was prawn. And you see there's little prawns in here. There's greens, you have the noodle, you have there's sotong, aka squid. And you have a choice. You can get it with chicken or with beef. We chose the beef and I'm ready. Like, also at first glance, the, the mince paste here kind of reminds us of uh, laksa johor, but it has a little bit of liquid, but it's, it's kind of a balance of uh, paste like a thick paste and liquid so i'm gonna go ahead and just take a sip of that broth first a little bit of beef mm. wow very prawny spicy and sweet it's really good and the the spice is just kind of humming in the back it just like lingers a little I love that extreme prawn flavor. I mean, if you love the flavor of prawn, this is the noodle dish for you. And the more I eat it, the more I enjoy it. And that spice is just lingering and actually building a little more, which I enjoy too. Mm. I see why. <laughs> there you go, that spice kicking in. I see why they say, mi bam bum, you got to have it in more. And I see why they say they have to come here. And I see why Hanipa is so popular. It's incredible. It's a really unique dish. I love it. A must try when you're here. Here in Malaysia, that if the place is good, they will put their face all over the place. It's you. <laughs>